Hello, hello, and welcome to this new gameplay of Soviet Republic. Well, this is not kind of a playthrough. This is a brand new game that I'm testing out. Uh, and uh, the game seems extremely interesting. It's extremely, extremely interesting. Um, we basically run a Soviet Republic. Now, the previous... Um, well, let's get the game started, and then I'll give you a short intro on it. So I have played, um, I have not played a full run through of this game ever. Um, I have played a little bit of this game. I haven't seen a lot of gameplay videos. Uh, when it came out uh, previously, like really early on, I'd seen some gameplays, gameplay videos, but they've changed a lot of things in this game right now. And the game is kind of extremely interesting. I've been playing on this starting condition, which is with a packed map, which has a lot of workers in it. Uh, difficulty is custom, but most of this is actually easy difficulty. Money is obviously there's a little bit of money. I never ran out of money because I didn't play long enough to run out of money. But yeah, I, I was going in the red. So this playthrough is when I'll actually figure out how to make profits in this game. So yeah, go with me, people. So uh, this could end up like our uh, Parkitect episode, uh, not lasting more than 20 episodes, but this could also be really interesting. Uh, there are no set goals, so my goal is going to be to be completely self-sufficient. Possibly even export some stuff out. But what we are going to focus on is uh, Juche. I hope I'm saying that right. So that is the North Korean concept of self-sufficiency which I believe was something proposed long ago by the initial leaders of the Soviet republics, but I'm not sure who it's attributed to. But yeah, self-sufficiency, Juche, is what we are going to go for. But before that, obviously, we'll have a lot of interactions with our neighbors and we'll try to trade with as many of them as possible. And if we can make money off of them, then that's, that's good. But this game is made so that self-sufficiency is something which is completely possible. So that's awesome. They've introduced the random map right now. It takes a long time to load. I'll probably uh, cut that out in the editing. But yeah, uh, the game is actually very interesting. Uh, these are our initial conditions. So the money amount is easy, as I've already said. Satisfaction is going to be easy. We don't want them writing. I don't know what happens if it goes too hard, but yeah, that's that. Energy management is going to be on buildings plus vehicles because I think that is what makes the game interesting. Of course, the whole time that I played, uh, I was importing everything which I needed with respect to, well, not with respect to energy for buildings, but energy for vehicles. I was importing all the oil, but in this playthrough, we'll see if we can make it on our own. Uh, I am going to disable the day night cycle. We can enable this when we are playing the game, I guess. I don't want to enable it off the bat because off the bat we won't have a lot of electricity and when it becomes dark, it becomes really dark. Uh, seasons, we'll have just summer because I don't want to deal with the snow. Uh, we, I mean, as far as I understand for the snow, we need to provide people with heating, which of course is, you know, it's, it's going to be... Um, what say it's it's going to take up resources so the challenge is to have enable but i am assuming this is one of these uh, ssrs which is more towards the south so snow isn't a problem i don't know what ssr that would be but let's assume it's something like cuba of course cuba doesn't have land borders so i don't know just let's just go with it let's just role play uh building fires yes it's going to be normal because we do want the challenge of having firehouses global events will be enabled uh price fluctuations did happen when i was playing although it didn't impact me much pollution is going to be enabled i don't know what effects it has because i haven't played long enough we're going to be starting in 1960 vehicle availability lock according to year i assume is where it tells us that uh, Basically, it, it tells us that the vehicles of that era will be available and not the other eras, so that's fine. And education simulation is going to be simple. The only difference that I found was in complex, basic education is not given to our people. Basic education, kindergartens is something which we have to build. Besides that, I don't see much of a difference between complex and simple. Of course, I played just one playthrough, so I have no clue what what it actually means most of the mechanics in this game i have no clue we have to explore so there you go let's begin this map of the soviet republic
well this is going to be pretty much the same i just opted for something flat because i saw time and time again youtubers struggle with flattening the ground i don't want to struggle with that but we are going to have built up cities five cities and roads they're not much of cities there's a church and then there's a couple of buildings that's it mostly farm huts farm farmers dwellings farmers houses but yeah that's about it so let's get started a few moments later all right we're in this game and this is a settings menu which doesn't actually matter much for us but we can change the game settings here if we want to which is what we will do later on if we want the day night cycle if we want so basically we can increase our difficulty as the game plays which is very good uh we are at speed one right now it's the first of january 1960 we've got two two million dollars in our account and we've got 10 million rubles in our account now that's an interesting concept so let's have a look at the map as you can see the map is pretty huge the map is massive you can see the mini map over here uh, each each of these boxes is possibly what we can see over here and uh, yeah it's pretty massive it's huge huge so what you can see here is this is our border the border is dotted with this line and anything with a red star here is basically a soviet republic so we can trade with these republics using these outposts here and we will be trading in rubles so everything we buy from here, we will buy with rubles, which is the Russian currency. And uh, over here, well, that was lucky. Over here are the NATO nations. So these are, um, I mean, I don't want to see allied nations because they're not, Russia was an allied nation. These are the NATO nations. So it's like US and their allies, basically. So this is one of the NATO nations and you can see that we will have to trade with them in dollars. So the only thing that I have played so far is the tutorial, nothing else. So I, I, I've reduced the volume a lot because, uh, I mean, it's a really nice music track, but it kind of gets a little bit much for me at least. But yeah, I mean, the game's in early access and for early access, the devs have done an awesome job. So you can see a bunch of houses here and all of these houses have all of these needs which are fulfilled. Some of them are not fulfilled. Here you can see what's important. You can see 135 workers are without jobs and 114 citizens currently without power. So there is no electricity right now. So that's why we're not playing with, uh, you know, with the day night cycle because things get dark real fast. So we've got the first city here, which is Balokach, Balokachuv. And then we have, uh, do we have a city here? Yes, Babakachuv. All right, that's a nice name. Balokachuv, Babakachuv. Uh, there was a city here. Uh, yeah, Vido Chuchuv. I guess that's how the X is pronounced. I'm not sure. Bam, Bami Vitit. That's a nice name. Vitit. Uh, Napikarov. And one more over here. Which is Visingitit. Well, those are really nice names that we have. Now on the side here, you can actually see our minimap and we can hold this and we can make our minimap as big as possible, which is very convenient because we can actually see where our resources are. So one of the first resources I jumped into was coal. Uh, I'll tell you the reasoning behind that because we need electricity for a lot of things and we can of course buy electricity from outside, but yeah, it uh, I, I kind of like to set up a coal power plant because uh, that's pretty much all I've done. I've done coal and I've done a bunch of food. Uh, the requirement of workers is pretty high once you go to some of the higher levels. So that's why I didn't do those. Uh, we've got iron in all the red spots. We've got oil, we've got uranium, which I mean, I tried to do it in one of my playthroughs, but that was the biggest fail ever because you need a lot of skill labor for that. And I, I would just like, well, take it let's just try and get skill labor from outside but that didn't pan out as i would have liked and bauxite of course 
so oil is yes oil is pretty important but i think we are going to focus on coal so coal uh, unfortunately i don't know how to click this and keep this here there is i guess there's no way but we can see that there's one of our big cities with a coal deposit right next to it now i don't know what impact pollution has on all of this but there's a bunch of coal here my friends so we could actually get that coal but the thing is this is very centrally located uh we might actually it might be good for us if we go here instead to the tit vicinity because we have some coal over here and this is not too far away to get workers from here can we oh we don't have the ability to sell power here so what would be the point of that would be a question do we have the ability to sell power here we don't we have the ability to sell and buy power from here that's good so um i mean well, this isn't that far off we could start a settlement here over here with a coal and possibly get workers from here no it will be too much of a hassle let's just go here let's just go to the initial city which is uh, balokachu we're going to rename the cities obviously um so we might as well go here and start our little city get that little thing going road here is this too far away actually isn't very far away so we could get our coal plant here so this is one of the things that i do uh because it's so difficult you there's there is no markings like i don't know where the overlay is i haven't found the overlay so far playing this game so i just click here and then well let me let me quickly go through this uh so this is going to be just a video of me talking i guess because there's a lot to cover here most of which we won't cover but still so we've got our panel here um which is fine i have uh, some shortcut keys mapped here for things that i use very often so the first thing is the settings which obviously we saw so that's that second thing is our resource status it shows us how much resource we have right now in our nation this whole thing is a nation so we are a country so it's kind of like tropical it's not like a city and then we have population statistics what our population needs over time <coughs> excuse me and here you can see the education level you can see basic education so because we started in simplified and not complex there are no uneducated people everybody is going to have basic education which is literacy and numbers i guess you know just the basics and then you have college education over here they require three types of electronics radios televisions and computers so we will have to buy those or manufacture those and give it to them and of course car ownership which i find car ownership to be a very very interesting metric that we see because um there are some really really interesting kind of cars that the soviet republics had uh so the, these cars in this game look pretty much the same so it's really cute so i really like that and of course we can see it for this month last month this year last year custom where we can change the dates and all which is forever so we can see our demographic here we have the productive age workers these are people of working age we have babies over here we have children over here and we have adults who are 21 plus over here so that's basically what our population looks like we have a total population of 10493 people which is good then we have infrastructure we have a bunch of things for changing terrain bunch of things for creating a city so we can create a brand new city over here like we can just click this pop it here and create a brand new city so that's interesting and we have a bunch of stuff here infrastructure things which we drop so you will pretty much start seeing what it is like for example this is roads and then you have a lot of options this game is brilliant when it comes to options and of course construction uh, i would have loved it if this was a little bit easier or intuitive at least from the logos but uh, it's not unfortunately so every time i have to go and scroll over this and see but of course you know the more i play it will become better 
I guess, you know, it will become more intuitive. Then we have the economy where we can see from the Soviet bloc, from Western countries, how much I'm buying, how much I'm selling. We can only buy and sell in rubles with the Soviet economy and we can only buy and sell in dollars with the Western economy. I So far, I haven't found a way to convert rubles to dollars or dollars to rubles but you can take loans separately on each of those which is what is here so we can get loans for each of those i haven't tried borrowing money so i, I guess it's pretty simple you just adjust the duration the amount and the interest changes and then you borrow it uh, then you have domestic production this is everything that we produce so this is kind of like i would like to think of this as our gdp which um, i mean you could argue it is you could argue it's not but yeah that's that's how i think of this and uh, these are the current prices of things in the market so as you can see nuclear fuel is very very expensive so if we get our nuclear program going we can make tons and tons of money and of course tourism tourism was very interesting so the last playthrough that i did i built an entire tourist city on the border of the western economy which was very nice it was uh, it's it's very interesting so it I was just trying to see what opportunities this game affords and there's a lot of opportunities. This game is really really brilliant and you can sink hours and hours into this as the game is right now and uh, it's it's pretty awesome. This is a list of all the vehicles and all the buildings that we have so this is something reminiscent of uh, I'd say transport tycoon and this is all the lines that we have so you could actually play this game as a transporting sort of game is kind of like industry tycoon but on soviet steroids and we have question and answers here so we can click on any of these and we can uh, try and figure out what happens yeah i haven't gone through all of this actually seems like there's a lot of interesting things here anyway let's quickly jump into the game so where exactly was our coal it's somewhere on our screen so let's go here so the first row is basically you have construction related industry you have residential blah 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 coal gravel is over here as we keep playing you will try and understand what is where so again i am colorblind so i don't know what color is what but i can definitely see the green and the red and the yellow uh, at least well enough to play the game uh, i i kind of think that this game has like exactly what is there on the minimap is a little bit off on the actual map is what i feel Oh, I guess if you zoom in, it's pretty good. So this can probably have one field. So that's going to be our coal mine, right? So now as soon as we click on the coal mine, it's constructing the coal mine. And when you click on it, you can see how many workers we need. It needs a maximum of 387 workers. Maximum number of workers outside CO is 58. I have no idea what that is. But this is indeed a coal mine, isn't it? It is a coal mine. So I don't know what the hell this is, but it needs around 387 workers. So we need to get 387 workers here. So let's quickly pause the game. Um, and we could do one of two things. We can build ourselves a city over here, or we can ferry our workers from here to here, which I kind of find to be a much better option so let's quickly jump in here into the city let's rename this city because i don't know how to pronounce this so let's call it kalinigrad kind of like kalinigrad but yeah you guys get it of course you do so we have a coal mine here so this coal mine is getting built now as this coal mine gets built there are lots of entrances and exits for this particular coal mine so if we go to the road you can see that this is a road entrance and building roads is pretty simple i mean you just click on it and oops you just click on it and you just drag if you press shift it says that the road curves but i don't know if that's the case or not but yeah it's it's fine it's all right i'd like to get a straight road in but of course the closer we get to the city the better it is Crossing not allowed. What the hell is crossing? There's nothing crossing here. So let's get it there. Uh, as you can see, this is a gravel. This is a asphalt road, and this is a gravel road. 
Now there is something called a construction office. It doesn't work like Tropico though. So I don't know what the construction office is for. Probably to do construction much faster. But uh, this speed is good enough for us. So as the coal mine is getting built, we can see that coal has a couple of other buildings as well. Uh, you will need a coal processing plant and yes there we go now here is where things get interesting so as you can see there are two different types of uh, actually multiple different types of icons so you can see one icon which looks kind of like this so this is a conveyor belt out so that conveyor belt out has to go into a conveyor belt in for the coal processing plant and then that has a conveyor belt out which is basically the ore that it shoots out into a into the coal plant into the coal power plant so you have different ways by which you can do this like it's it's this, this game is amazingly massive this game is the beauty of this game is uh, i mean a lot of people say it's not in the graphics they're like oh this game is not beautiful but no i think this game is fantastic i think this game looks really beautiful but the beauty of this game is actually in the brains behind it like how intelligently the game is made how nicely the game works as a logistic simulator so we can try to see how far away we can get Ooh, this goes pretty far man but let's get it a little bit closer because i would like to have power connections coming in for right so let's place you here and that's good so one is my hotkey for the road so let's get you here and there is a road here which i will try to bring around this way so i mean i'm playing in completely flat terrain so actually speaking i don't know what this this is like good you know mountainous terrain is really difficult i've seen people play online and it's not pleasant experience at all uh, so this case it's much better so you can see that the coal will get mined here and the coal will go up here into this coal processing plant and from here it will be conveyed out on these little conveyor belts. I remember seeing these kind of conveyor belts in Oman when I was there and uh, yeah it's, it's pretty I mean this is how it goes it goes across the road you can see like the ore and you can see like things going across the road it's very interesting and it goes into our coal power plant and the power plant will work and it will produce uh, energy which we can pull out of here and we can start giving to people now i'm going to put a quick cut in this video uh, this video is definitely short because well we didn't do anything we just spoke a bunch and then we got the coal plant started but once we get back we will learn how to shuttle workers here and once the power plant is up and running we will start producing the basic goods so that our people can enjoy some basic goods which is what we are trying to give them so i'll be back in a quick bit until then uh do take care and before i say that do like and subscribe if you like the con content that i'm putting on site do comment if you think anything is comment worthy and uh yeah take care now bye bye then